This week, attorneys for a young woman named Michelle Carter filed an appeal of her conviction with the United States Supreme Court. Carter, you may remember, was found guilty two years ago of involuntary manslaughter and sentenced to 15 months in a Massachusetts jail for her role in the 2014 death of her 18-year-old boyfriend. The story captured national headlines, and now it's the subject of a much-discussed new HBO documentary. Simone Boyce of our streaming service, NBC News Now, has our Sunday Spotlight. When filmmaker Aaron Lee Carr is behind the camera, she often explores how a thought becomes a crime. Her latest HBO documentary reopens one case that shocked the nation, a suicide by text. I am a woman who's obsessed with crime and the internet, and so this was a story that was made for me. Conrad Roy and Michelle Carter were both searching for something when they found each other in 2012. The high schoolers were geographically separated and yet intensely connected. But that chemistry soon became toxic. I love you, now die, spells it out in their own words. One haunting text after another. In the chilling final few, Michelle urged Conrad to take his own life. You can see very carefully that, and very gently, Michelle is pushing him towards doing it. And it's devastating, and it's really disturbing. She's very persuasive. She is. I Love You Now Die asks questions about mental illness, digital behavior, and accountability in a digital age. This is a film about isolation. It's about loneliness. And that's not just with Michelle Carter, that's also with Conrad Roy, who is a smart, charismatic, really wonderful human. A judge ultimately decided Michelle's reckless behavior caused Conrad's death by suicide, sentencing her to 15 months for involuntary manslaughter. But the Michelle in this film is far more complex and vulnerable than the teenager from the headlines. And Michelle wouldn't talk to you, her family, they wouldn't talk to you at all. I tried so many times, it became painful at a certain point. Should we have empathy for Michelle Carter? I think we should have empathy for almost everyone. You're not gonna morally condone what she did, but you can understand her, and that means you understand the crime better. I Love You, Now Die caps off a true crime trilogy for Carr. In all three HBO films, online messages helped prosecutors secure a conviction. I want to use people's technological communications to touch on their greater humanity. We are very alone. We talk into our phones. We think they talk back to us. The compare and despair that is with social media is insane. I participate in it. Um, you know, all of my films, bad things happen because of text messages. Exploring how media impacts our world is in Erin Carr's blood. Her father, David Carr, was the influential culture columnist for the New York Times. My father was one of the most profound relationships I'll ever have in my life. When I think about Michelle Carter and about Conrad Roy, it's about that connection with a parent and what happens if it goes away. On a foundational level, it is interacted with almost every part of my work. You can encourage someone to die via text, and you can commit a crime via text. I love that I get to make films about crimes that I find interesting, that talk about male-female relationships. I was put on earth to do it. For Sunday Today, Simone Boyce, Brooklyn, New York.